I feel like, oh my, he's on top of the are. coin tower. Josh, how did you get there? What's happening? That must be a hot spot there. It, it is a hot spot, but you got to keep in mind the top of the coin tower, it's uh, about 31 floors up. So slightly cooler than what we're seeing down towards the surface level. But I've got my uh, trusty thermometer here and hopefully it's not backwards for you guys, but I'm getting a reading of about 83 degrees right now again at the top of the coin tower in downtown portland and a lot of folks i've been seeing kind of swirling around on social media saying you know yes it's hot today but we've seen hotter why is this so impactful for us well you got to keep in mind the month of april has been abnormally cold just look back on monday that's where we only managed to warm up into the upper 50s. So from Monday to this afternoon with the temperature of 88 degrees so far out at PDX, that's nearly a 30 degree temperature jump. So that's why it's so impactful for us. We're really not used to this heat. Yes, once you get into the months of say July or August, we've become accustomed to this uh, warming trend, but with it coming kind of out of the blue as of late, it is toasty across the region, but nice to be able to actually get in on some bright blue sunny skies after the very gray and very wet snowy over the Cascade locations for us over the past several months. So it seems like we've skipped right over spring and jumped right into summer as we expect to hold on to those warmer temperatures as we dive our way into the weekend. Natasha, I'll go ahead and turn things back over to you with a better detailed forecast of what's to come for our area. Thanks, Josh. You know, if only we had a coin six pool up there on top of the coin tower. Now that would be something. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, thanks. You, 